The human genome is the blueprint for the development of the fetus, the child, the middle school student, and the adult. And what the genome does is it encodes all of the machinery for the development of, of the human and the continued physiology. And the reason why the genome is important is because it's loaded with genetic variation, it's loaded with mutations, and it is those variations that significantly influence human health and particularly risk for psychiatric and developmental disorders. So in many ways you're saying we are our DNA. In a way that uh, blueprint, if you will, defines really who we are at many different levels throughout our life. Absolutely. The, the genes carry a huge influence on human health, but they also control how the human interacts with their environment. So when people say that disease is a combination of genes and environment, that's absolutely true, but the genes have a big role. And I would guess that <clears throat> as we learn more about the genome, we're learning that environment impacts the genome uh, in a very direct way. So even though it's the nature-nurture question that we're trying to puzzle through, we know that nature is very important, and in fact, that nurture may impact nature. That's absolutely true. Uh, obviously, environmental exposures can actually introduce mutations into the genome, which can influence development. Similarly, uh, the environment can uh, contribute to epigenetic changes that could influence one's physiology. So these are not these are not variations that were carried by the individual when they were born, but are acquired. Right.